Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Generative AI Writer in Google Docs to use AI to write anything in your Google Docs documents. So as you can see here, I have this Help Me Write icon here, and if I click on it, I'm going to be able to add a prompt to Google and their new experimental AI writer will help me write social media captions, blog post intros and stuff like that. So this is a beta feature, an experimental feature that by default you do not have access to. I've made a previous video on how to sign up for Google Workspace Labs waitlist, which is necessary to be able to use this AI writer feature in Google. Once you get access, you will get an email about it. And when you open up a Google Docs document, you will see this welcome message. Welcome to Workspace Labs. Give your content some extra polish with help rewriting or fine tuning what you already have. Then you can close this out. And then when you want to write something with the help of AI, all you have to do is click on this icon. And as you can see, you can add the prompt here. So let's see an example. I want Google Labs AI Writer to write me a blog post intro on how to make money with affiliate marketing, then click on create. And as you can see, the content is being generated with AI. And here we have received the results. It's a quite good intro. As you can read here, you can give a thumbs up, a thumbs down. If you do not like it, you can regenerate the response by clicking on the recreate button, or you can refine your the results you have received. But if you're happy with what Google has come up with, just click on insert and there you have it. Here you have received the AI output from Google. So all in all, this is how to use the generative AI feature in Google Docs. Keep in mind that this is still an experimental feature and you have to sign up for the Google Workspace Lab waitlist to be able to use it. And if you want to learn more about how to use these features in Google Docs, Google Sheets or in Gmail, I have other tutorials you can also check out. 